So this is simply actually using the classical hop and using a Mobius transformation to map uh, the, the attractor as close as we want to the boundary. So generic dynamical system with a critical point as close as we want to the boundary. So let me remind you what is the classical the classical off the classical off system for a dynamical system in dimension two, which is z dot equal z of z, that has a limit cycle and a focal uh, point it can be written as the form lambda z minus one plus z square plus i omega, where lambda and uh, w let's say are real non-zero values. Right, so you can see that z equals zero is a critical point, this is zero. And then z equals one, this is a limit cycle, right? If you have uh, z equals uh, i theta, you can even calculate um, along, so you, you put that in here and you find an equation, so z dot is i i theta multiplied by theta dot. This is zero, so this is lambda i theta, uh, i omega. So this goes away, this goes away, and you can have exactly the speed along the limit cycle, which is lambda omega. Right, so now how do you transform? How do you build a dynamical system? where the critical point is as close as you want to the boundary. Basically, you don't want to destroy the limit cycle and you want to move this close to here. That's it. So you, for this, you use the uh, Mobius transformation. So this is, let's call it... Uh, Eta is phi alpha of z, where alpha is going to be a parameter, minus alpha z. And so what you have to do, you have to conjugate this vector field uh, with this uh, Mobius transformation. So you get your new, your new uh, dynamical system, which is c dot equals v alpha of, of eta, which is Prime prime phi alpha minus one eta b zero of phi alpha minus one and you can even plug you know you can do the calculation you invert this you can put that in here so this basically will send this um, z equal zero is, is send of, of something which is minus alpha. And so when alpha is as close as you want to a minus one, this will converge to a point here on the boundary. All right, you can even do, the cal again, I'm not going to do the calculation, but basically you can get this. This is lambda inside eta plus alpha, one plus alpha eta divided by one minus alpha squared minus one plus eta plus alpha, one plus alpha, eta squared, plus i omega. Now you have a dynamical system, and now we can make a, a perturbation of this dynamical system, which is x dot equals d alpha, eta, plus square root two epsilon w dot. And now, the, the idea of having something explicit is that we could do explicit calculation. All right, so I'll break here, let's say five, 10 minutes, and then we'll uh, resume by um, 
looking at uh, the solution, how we do the solution of this equation. And so when I would refer to the system here, I would refer to um, this explicit calculation. Because again, the idea here is we know exactly how things are going, what is the power of alpha we want. I mean, so this is important for the calculation that we're going to, to, uh, to do. Okay, let's, um, let's break.